So here we are, me, Ruti Kuru in sunny Tenerife. We're staying in between Costa Adachi and Las Americas and we're staying at the Parque de Las Americas, just across the road. We're going to do a review for you now. Follow us. Situated in a popular location near Costa Adachi and almost in the heart of Las Americas, Park de Las Americas is close to everything. There's plenty of local shops, restaurants and bars and it's only around 200 metres from the nearest beach. It's close to Tenerife South Airport as well. It costs us around €25 Euro by taxi, so not bad. The apartments are spacious and clean. There's a terrace and a small kitchen with a fridge, oven and microwave. There's an outdoor swimming pool with a children's section, sun lounges and parasols. There's also a gym for those of you that like to work out and a snack bar by the pool for light bites and drinks. There's a 24-hour front desk assistance with late checkout and great housekeeping. The staff are really friendly and extremely helpful. And the restaurant at the front offers some exceptional food and it's really well priced. To be honest, we ate there most of the holiday because the service and the food was so good. How's breakfast? Well, here we are, guys. Another gorgeous day in sunny Tenerife, and uh, it's hot as time. And the light is actually hot as then, but it could be quarter to eleven. Another night out, saw a great rock band. But this morning we're going to start with a healthy breakfast. And these guys know how to do it. We've got bacon, egg, tomato, beans, gluten-free. That's why I'm so slim. It's really good here, highly recommended and looking forward to a day just sitting on the beach doing absolutely nothing. There's so much to do in Tenerife with loads of tours and excursions readily available. They do come at a price though. We opted to try out the paragliding and what an experience that was. We also took the buggy trip to TD National Park which we'd highly recommend. Afternoon guys, and here we are on a buggy trip and we just arrived at the base of Mount Tidi, which happens to be I think the second highest volcano in the world and uh, this is the old lava flows where they've all uh, hardened off and that's the original uh, conduit and that's the new one which is Mount Tidi. The last eruption I think was 1720. Happy days. Greetings Earthlings, how are you doing? Yeah, well today we went to the base of Mount Tidi. So there's a couple of things I'm going to tell you. Is when the guy, the tour guy says wear jackets in the buggies, you definitely want to wear the jackets because it does get quite cold when you do about 40 kilometers an hour. That's the first tip. The second tip is listen to what the guy is telling you because he's very uh, informative on what he's telling you about the creation of the island seven million years ago. So we were standing on rock today, which was seven million years old. If only rocks could talk, eh? And uh, we had an absolutely amazing time. It wasn't too long, but long enough. And uh, now we're back at base at our favorite restaurant, just about to eat a big fat piece of steak. See you later. Well, that's it. That's our holiday in this tropical paradise over. We're flying back to Bristol and then back to Manabu Newton. We're going to be driving back, I should say, not flying back uh, to Manabu Newton. Anyway, what do you reckon then, Rich? Drum roll. <laughs> well, it's 10 to 8, earliest start yet, but Len says, give it a 10. <laughs> Yeah, well, guess what? We just uh, did speedy boarding. We didn't pay 12 quid. We just waited in the queue and sat down and we we're really patient. And look, we're getting on the plane. It ain't going to go without you. It's a speedy boarding, 12 quid. Is it worth it? In my opinion, no. Anyway, so here we are, just a little bit more on speedy boarding. So those guys have been sitting on the plane for half an hour and they're all breathing recycled air. <laughs> Well, we haven't. We've been sitting in the uh, in the airport breathing normal air. And I'll tell you one thing, is speedy boarding worth it? Is it worth 12 quid? No. And also it's bad for your health. So say no to speedy boarding. <laughs>